I'm Dr. Graham Erickson. I teach at Pacific University's College of Optometry and I have worked with athletes both here and at all different competition levels um, around the world. Strobe training has kind of been around a long time. We started with the little party strobe lights inside of our room that we could darken the lights as a way to kind of add a level of resistance to vision by taking away elements of vision and still trying to maintain performance of a task. And with the advent of liquid crystal, we were able to move it from this room environment to putting it inside of eyewear, which really revolutionized the athlete being able to take it onto the field of play and simulate the types of skills that they want to develop, while at the same time using occlusion to uh, challenge the visual system and the brain to pay better attention to the important cues that help enhance performance. That there are a number of cognitive domains that strobe has a very profound effect on almost immediately. You see changes in attention, cognitive processing, being able to process multiple objects simultaneously, all has a fairly pronounced effect. Some of the studies that have been done have shown uh, improved Improvements in on ice performance in ice hockey at the professional level, which is, um, I think, a very powerful statement that even at that level you can get a noticeable difference for those who train with the strobe compared to those who are training without the strobe. We've seen something similar with collegiate baseball and performance in batting. And uh, more recently, there's been a study looking at whether the type of training you do with strobe might reduce concussion incidents in collegiate football. And that's a little trickier subject. But I think collectively, if we look at the research, it shows that strobe has a fairly powerful effect. One of the more recent innovations is called the quad strobe. So, you know, the basic strobes like I have here, the entire lens is going to either go dark or be clear so that the athlete can see through it. What the quad strobes allow you to do is to just highlight a sector. So there's kind of four quadrants in each strobe. And so now if I want to isolate a certain area, like right now it's in my up left gaze position. If I'm wearing the strobe, that's where I can see. The rest of it is blocked. So if I want to work on my tennis toss, for example, having this is using, is isolating that gaze position and allows me to do the actual activity of working on my service toss while doing some of this strobe occlusion vision training at the same time. And it makes my standard training more powerful than if I was just doing it without any eyewear. So that we're emphasizing where the important visual information is and giving your brain that sort of attention push that it needs to utilize that information more. Beyond sport as well, I think that there's some interesting work being done with concussion recovery and some other um, military applications for this as well.